Well, I'm just a mechanic, you know, I'm not a business czar. I'm not, a, you know, I've just been doing it a really long time. So I got a decent company built up, but honestly, at the bottom line, I'm just a mechanic. So, you know, as a spending the years learning and understanding, you know, airflow is very important. I don't care who you are. If you don't believe that, you ain't real bright. Airflow is very, very important. The correct volume, no excess, you know, without excessive static pressure, et cetera. Um, the travel, the placement, all of those things are important. But when you start to restrict airflow um, without lowering capacity, you start to violate my mechanical understanding of, well, wait a minute. If we need, and this is old school stuff, if we need 400 CFM per ton, and we got three tons, and it's running, but we're going to close this damper off, and we're only going to have half or less than half of the the airflow that we desire. You know, we're not getting anywhere. This is this is obviously operating outside of the comfort zone of the design of the machine. Now, didn't you say you had a two stage? The blower is two and, stage. Okay. But I thought you had a incomplete Bosch outside. It's a it's the Bosch variable speed ish system. Yeah. Ish. So but it does not blower. communicate with a variable speed air handler. Yeah, this is how it communicates on off. That's how it communicates. That's really about literally the truth. It, that, that's all it is. I mean, it just yeah. the blower speed, the, the thermostat tells the blower to run in first or second stage, and then the the electronics outside decide based on the CFM ramification on the temperature, the pipes and transducer and stuff like that, what it's going to do, and it just changes like that. So it's kind of like a, I don't know, like a rigged up communicating system. Maybe. Yeah, sounds more like fuel injection on a car. And they finally perfect, perfected all that, just operated all based off sensors. But, I mean, I just think one day Bosch is going to complete that product and it's going to be a force to be reckoned with. Um, right now, if it's not communicating with a variable speed blower in an air handler, I don't see how this is ever... You know, I don't see where the success is. I don't see how it's going to work. If you want to watch more videos just like this one, click on this playlist right here. If you want to see our brand new video, click right here. If you want to find out more about the great sponsors that make this show happen, click up here. And to join our email list where I notify you when we're going live, click right here. <laughs>